What's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button if you will. Help us out. Share it on your uh, social media stuff. Anyway, this is a follow-up video to the live I just did uh, this past week, Thursday. And yes, we're going to be doing a show every Thursday at 7 o'clock. I know we've been out for the, you know, the winter season, but we're getting back into the groove. Uh, the topic of that video was, where's the biker scene heading? Is it heading towards the gangster side or what? And a lot of emails came in after that one, which is cool, man. The debate's going. Something I like doing is getting the debate going. Uh, one of the questions were, what do I consider a biker? What do I consider a gangster? It's easy. Most of the people in clubs and in the scene are hard-working, blue-collar guys, man. We're talking machinists. Mechanics, art tattoo artists, painters, plumbers, union workers, uh, truck drivers. That truck driver stuff is awesome, man. I used to drive a truck too way back when. Uh, and the feel of the open road. But anyway, I'm going to freaking get off track here. But blue collar people, man. They go to work. At all hours of the day, they work real hard to, uh, you know, to support their families. And I think that's why I get upset personally when you have Leo always saying that 1% of clubs, this one's criminal or this one's criminal. That ain't the case at all, man. And a lot of Leos, you're going to have to admit that it's a tiny percentage of those that are in the clubs that do that kind of stuff. Look at you guys. Every single day, I can go online, while I'm researching some of the stories we're going to do for the Biker News, and see just how many Leo have got arrested for some stuff, and a lot worse than what some of these guys in the clubs are being arrested for. You guys have a problem with being freaks, man. I'm just going to say it. You have a problem being freaks. What I mean is you're always being arrested for, you know, chromo stuff, man. At least be respectable and go down from, you know, with a respectable type of crime. That chromo stuff, man, y'all freaks, man. <laughs> anyway... Then we get to the gangster part. Now, what do I consider a gangster? Well, you're hustling, man. You're earning your money that way. You're doing this, you're doing that, putting together that hustle. And, you know, you live that life. Uh, you live the gangster life, man. That's what you breathe. That's what you live for. Uh, that is not part of most of the club community, man. I would have to say it's under 1%, at least under 1%. Where guys are actually thinking, you know, they're gangsters and stuff like that. And I didn't, you know, I don't want the public to think that's what bikers were. Yeah, there's a problem with an influx of that type of stuff in the lifestyle. But you got to look at it this way. Everyone loves a motorcycle, man. I think that's what bonds everybody. It don't matter what subgroup you're in. It's that motorcycle that bonds you. And I guess as you get older, you get out of the banger stuff and you, you say, well, man, uh, you know, the biker lifestyle is just perfect for me. Problem is, a lot of people bring bad habits into the scene. And that's when you see, you know, and it's not only one percent of clubs, man. If you actually look at the biker news that we put out, it's 99 percent of clubs. It's freaking uh, support clubs, that kind of stuff, doing the stuff, too. So it's just not, you know, confined the one percenters doing all that stuff. And that's a misconception within uh, the biker world. Now, when you want to talk protocol, the reason why protocol is there is so that the clubs can handle that before the cops get involved. They don't want any, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry, and I know there's all kinds of debate on this protocol stuff. Some of it's outdated, some isn't, but the main purpose is is to try to keep the Leo off of everybody's back. 
Because when you've got people going out there doing some of the stuff you see do on our news, that just brings it down on everybody. Just like I was talking about with Cleveland, man, that's going to affect everybody as far as profiling, the way the citizens look at us. It don't matter if you're wearing a hog patch. It don't matter if you're, you know, an independent. They're still going to profile you because you're on a bike, especially if you fit the image, man. They're, it don't matter. If you fit the image, they're going to be on you, man. You better hope you got your license, your registration, your insurance, all your turn signals are working, you're legit, because they look at any way possible to pull you over. But getting back to the question, again, under a, a 1% are the gangster stuff, but the problem with that small percentage is they bring in a lot of hassle for the rest of us. But you guys should know that a lot of one percenter clubs and a lot of clubs are trying to get rid of that type of stuff, man. I, I've heard recently that there's some one percenter clubs that say, hey, you're out there doing dumb crap, get out, you're out on the street, man. You know, we don't need it, we don't want it. And you know, when you put it in the context of brotherhood, is that really a brother who's bringing all them cops to the club's front door? Think about that for a minute. Is that true brotherhood when they're out there doing something they know that can bring heat on the club? And what's even worse is they're the ones that are making the money and the club isn't. But the club's taking uh, all the crap for what they're doing. They're the one getting the stigma put on them. Just because of one or two guys. So, I think what I would have to say, the point of this video is, blue collar workers, man. Yeah, you got white collars in there too. A lot of white collars, they hardcore into the lifestyle too. You know, then you got your rubs and stuff like that. But I think it all comes together is the love for motorcycling. I don't think anybody's out there truly wanting, you know, the Turner clubs and the gangster stuff. Because who needs it, man? Rico, man. We've talked about Rico and FISA and all that type of stuff. And it's no joke. So who would want to invite that to the door? You know, that's why you see a lot of these guys that are in the clubs, when they do get in trouble, they have a hard time where they have to make deals or something for lesser time. You know, a lot of them are, you know, straight up. They don't rat like a lot of people. But uh, some guys, you know, they take their time like men, but they have a hard time making the lawyer fee. Now, if they're all gangster, like the cops, you know, tried telling everybody, you'd think they had that money for that retainer to get a good damn lawyer instead of a public pretender. Agreed or not? Agreed or not, guys? Let me know in the comment section of the show notes, everything. You know, do I have a point here? If they were gangster, they'd have the money. No. I've seen a lot of times where a lot of club guys had problems just making their dues. Does that sound like a gangster to you? No. Uh-uh. Gangsters always got that hustle going. They always got the money in their pocket. If they're true ones, anyway, they got that money in their pocket. So, that's what I think a biker is compared to a gang, uh, a banger. They go to work, they make sure they support their families. They're not out there to go buy a freaking $20,000 bike to be put in prison for 10 to 15 to up the life in prison. No, those ain't bikers, man. Those are gangsters. Those are the ones who want to do their thing and they want to roll the dice. Let's see, hey, let's make some coin and if we get caught, we play the price later down the road. So, that's just my thoughts. What do you guys uh, think a biker is compared to a gangster? Let me know. And don't forget, you know, yeah, we do have the biker news, but we are starting back up the Madhouse freaking engine on Thursdays at 7 o'clock uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll run about 45 minutes to an hour, uh, whichever's clever. Yes, I'll be taking phone calls if you want to call in. If not, just sit there and listen and play with your pecker. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> uh, so, with that, don't forget to subscribe, man, and pass it around on your social media because, as you can tell, we've been throttled down big time. 
big time. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys be safe. You guys uh, at Daytona, be safe, man. It's crazy down there. Crazy. Talk to you later.